I'm going to show you how to make up to $1,000 a week with your coding skills and I'm going to share with you the exact step-by-step -step strategy that I would use if I would want to monetize my skills right now. This is the second part from the freelancing series where I'm going to show you how this process works from A to Z and this will work regardless if you have zero coding experience or if you've been at it for a while. I'm going to show you how to create money-making offers quickly for businesses that desperately need a working website. So if you follow this guide exactly as I tell you so, I guarantee you that you'll start making money literally next week and then you can use the experience that you got to either continue freelancing and make even more money on the side while you're learning to code to get a job or you can use the projects and the experience you gained by yourself to actually land that first developer job way faster compared with most beginners. So promise me something, follow and implement these steps, put every single thing that I'm going to teach you into practice and you will get paid literally next week. Garen fucking did. So let's get into it. All right, so what we have here is a document uh, where I left some notes that will actually help you create this offer. So let's talk about offers and why offers are important. So an offer is pretty much what someone will get after they work with you. You go to the dentist and then you pay for a service and then by the end of that service, you'll have like white teeth. Now, we also need to create offers. Otherwise, nobody's gonna see the value in buying something from you, if that makes sense. Because if you just come in and say, hey, I'm gonna make a website for you. Well, that offer is not exciting. No business will want to actually work with you, no matter if you do it for free, okay? So if we make an exciting offer, an offer that makes sense for your target audience, which will be the businesses that you'll be working with, then people will like really give you a lot of money to solve their problems, okay? And I'm gonna get into how to do this in this video, okay? And probably I'm gonna make a part three, part four, because this is a very important uh, subject. Without an offer, you cannot be a successful freelancer. You'll always be making 10, $20 websites. Before we get into offers, let's actually try to understand what a website is because in my last video and i'm gonna link it somewhere here probably but a lot of people said hey why would anyone pay us a thousand bucks for a website where they can go to wix or squarespace and make a website for like ten dollars twenty dollars a month and when i was reading those comments i was like oh these guys are stupid right but then i realized like oh okay this information that I'm about to share with you is not common and most people do not think in this way about their products, their services, their skills. And I want to help you see things in a different way, okay? It's like I want to make you be like Neo in the Matrix, start to see how the code is building the world around you, if that makes sense. So what a website is not, a website is not HTML and CSS. HTML and CSS is what makes the website, but the website is not HTML and CSS, okay? A website is an asset, okay? A website is an authority, a website is proof. Why? Why is a website an asset? Why is a website authority or proof? Well, because if you have the right website built in the right way, then that website is gonna make sales for you on autopilot, okay? Instead of like repeating yourself all the time as a business, I'm gonna do this for you, I'm gonna do this for you, I'm gonna do this for you. You have all the information on the website and then customers will come to that website and then they will skim, they will read and whatnot, they will see testimonials, they will do research on your pricing and whatnot and then they will eventually buy, right? That's how it typically works. You can post testimonials of past clients and then they can see that, okay, you are the real deal and then you're increasing the likelihood of someone buying from another business. So essentially, you are in the business of helping another business make more money. You're not in the business of making websites. You are just using HTML and CSS to help another business make more money. That's how I want you to think about it. Like, what are the benefits of someone working with you? Because if we understand this, then we can build a good offer. So let's actually look at a couple of bad examples and one good example. So what I did is I went ahead on Google and I typed in like aesthetic surgery clinic or something like that, Dubai, because I wanted to find something that is on a uh, common ground. I didn't want to find something from Poland. I didn't want to find something from the US because then everyone would be like biased. Oh, it only works there. Um, so that's why I decided to go and search um, for clinics in uh, Dubai. 
So let's have a look at the first website. So all of these companies are currently running ads okay, on Google. So why is this uh, important? If someone is running ads, that means they have money to spend to grow. You do not spend money on ads if you do not make money. So I know for sure that these companies, all these three companies, want to acquire market share. They want to make more money. They want to expand. And that's why I found them. And that also tells me they are good prospects because they are willing to make changes to make more money. So then when I looked at these uh, websites, I was like, probably this is made with Wix, right? Or probably this person or this business bought a very cheap website from Fiverr and whatnot. And what happens is, I do not have access to the data, right? But look at this website versus this one. This is already more interesting. This already makes this other company look more professional. So then this website is increasing the, or the authority and the trust of a customer that comes in from an ad. While this one looks wacky, right? And then basically, if both of these companies are running ads at the same time, and they're spending, let's say, a thousand bucks a week, this one has a higher potential of making more money from those ads versus this one. So this company here is actually losing money while running ads because they do not have the right website. So then your job, and uh, same with this one, right? So then your job is to come in, not to write HTML and CSS, but, a cre but to create a website that's gonna produce them more money. So essentially, Let's say this company could make, I don't know, $10,000 a week from their ads by selling their services. Because I know like to change the, you know, to increase the size of the knockers, it costs $5,000. So if they get five surgeries like this per week, okay, that means they're making like $25,000 per week from selling this service here. Right, so then if you sell a website, let's say for $5,000, now the $5,000 versus $25,000 a week is gonna make a shit ton of sense. Especially if you learn how to sell and then we can get into that in another video, but I just want to make you see this first because if you do not understand this, then you will not do the work and I want you to do the work uh, because if you do not do the work, then you'll be stuck forever, okay? So I hope I am making sense of why would someone would pay you a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, five thousand dollars for a website versus just going with Squarespace or with a cheaper service. So then basically your goal is to become an expert in a niche. And then the question is, okay, how do I become an expert in a niche or how do I create a good offer? Well, you need to figure out the outcome of someone that is gonna work with you. So the only way to figure out what is the outcome of someone working with you is by doing a lot of research. And I'll be honest with you, doing research is boring, but doing research is gonna be the most important money-making activity that you can do if you want to make money as a freelancer. Because otherwise you will be a commodity and then you'll be paid 10, 20 dollars per website instead of making 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. I know these numbers are like outrageous for most people. I do get it but these are the sums of money that are floating around this space and i want you to get the skills to be able to like grab that for yourself why not so what i did here i have left in this google doc a bunch of questions uh, that you have to answer by doing your research now there are so many niches that you can choose from and i just chose this aesthetic procedures niche uh, because that's what came through my mind. Probably I saw an ad somewhere and I was like, oh, this makes sense, you know? But this is not the only niche and I don't wanna really give you the exact niche to go after because I want you to find that by yourself because you need to think about this stuff, okay? And I do not have a course teaching you what niche to get into, okay? So I'm not in that business. Um, so this is important for you to do by yourself. Maybe I'm gonna make a video in the future where I'm gonna show maybe like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 niches that you can go for. But I do not want to specifically tell you what to do because otherwise everyone's gonna do the same thing. And if everyone does the same thing, then the niche is gonna become saturated. I want you to think about it, but a few 
key points that I want you to keep in mind as you're trying to figure out your niche is, are they charging uh, a lot of money for their services? So if you go for barber shops, well, what is the average uh, sale in a barber shop? $20, $100? For a company like this, they're making probably a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, even more from one transaction. Maybe if they get a customer, and then we talk about something called lifetime value. If someone comes in, let's say there is a lady and she fixes her nose, then if she had a good service, then that lady is gonna come in to do like a liposuction. So then it's gonna spend another five thousand dollars. Then she's gonna get a BBL. Then she's gonna get uh, bigger knockers. Then she's gonna do some other stuff with Botox and whatever. So then. Yeah, they're making a thousand dollars in the beginning, but the lifetime charge for that customer might be twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Like these are the numbers that are going in the business world. Okay, I want you to be able to get money from this type of businesses rather than barber shops, uh, restaurants, and whatnot. Another thing that uh, might help you out with choosing the right niche is being in a niche that you actually enjoy. So, for example, I like cars. I would definitely be in a, in a niche that deals with cars, so maybe car dealerships, for example, but it might be car um, detailing, okay? So there are a lot of services and a lot of businesses that are dealing with cars, but you need to figure out that by yourself. And again, I'm gonna leave this Google Doc uh, when we have 200 comments, okay? Uh, so I want you to type in research in the comments. When we have 200 comments in the comment section of this video, I'm gonna send you this Google Doc because I have some questions over here, these ones. These ones are hidden, so you cannot just answer them because I want to get my algorithm pumped up. And then after you answer these questions, and then I have a chat GPT prompt over here, which is gonna help you understand your questions even better, okay? That's pretty much the work that you have to do to understand your target audience. And then you can start making an offer, okay? So I'll show an example of a weak offer first. I make websites. I make websites with HTML and CSS. That's boring, nobody wants that. A strong offer is, I help aesthetic surgery clinics that are running ads get 10 clients per month using high converting landing pages. So you see how different this is and you are pretty much using the same technologies, HTML and CSS. But again, this is something that they came up with from the top of my head. I don't know if aesthetic surgery clinics want 10 clients a month, but because I didn't do the research, this is what I can, you know, give you as an example. But if you do your research, you'll understand exactly what they want, and then you'll be able to offer them what they want. Now, a question that you might ask yourself is like, how do I deliver that? Well, maybe I'm gonna make a video about this uh, next week or in two weeks, if this video is quite popular. But essentially, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You just look at a competitor, it can be from another country, right? Or in a slightly different niche. And then you try to understand what they're doing there and then you are reverse engineering the process and the steps and you ask yourself, why did they put the image here? Why did they put the testimonials here? Why did they structure the testimonials in this way? You do all that and then you do it for uh, your niche. And then you stick with this niche forever and then you'll be come the god of that niche and everyone's gonna come to work with you so again in the beginning you'll charge maybe 250 to 500 dollars per website maybe even for free if you do not want to charge money i understand that then you ask for two referrals as explained in the previous video then you charge those referrals 500 to a thousand dollars you increase your price if you feel confident next time you can charge even more until you feel like you are charging enough for your services and you feel like you are delivering the right amount of value. Because remember, if you help someone make an extra 10, $20,000 per month because you fix their business, then it's only fair to charge $5,000 for a website or 10,000. Other businesses will be more than happy to pay that because they see the return of investment. Businesses are not like people. Businesses look for opportunities and they are willing to expand and invest in their growth compared with regular people who are extremely scared of investing in different things, you know? So it's a very different mindset and I want you to change your mindset from being a consumer to being a business owner because you'll also invest in different things. You'll invest in people, you'll invest in uh, uh, different trainings that will help you learn how to sell or to market your skills, okay? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, the, the video for today you'll pretty much learn how to create more value by solving other people's problems in the same niche 
and that's gonna help you make more money. If you want me to help you with learning how to code to become a developer, then apply for my mentorship program. It's the first link in the description, I have a C guarantee and I have pretty much solved all your problems. The only problem that you have left is to actually write the code and apply for the mentorship program. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. Let me know if you need more information about freelancing and I'm gonna sort you out. Cheers.